Hello everybody, welcome back to RimWorld. It is the end of summer, and Minyaka and Chanka are still dealing with the, um, the, the fallout and the leftover of losing their children, but um, I think Chanka's handling it a little better than Minyaka. Minyaka was able to successfully counsel Chanka, which was great. Um, and finally we have Olga, which I'm really excited about. Someone to finally keep this place clean, keep everything hauled to where it needs to go, and to do some research for us. Oh my gosh. How nice is this going to be? Looks like we just got some packaged survival meals. No, fine meals. Okay, so we're going to be eating well for the next few days. And there's a, a psychic soothe female, so Minyaka is going to be doing uh, extra extra well. Of course, Minyaka is still in a uh, in a mental break, a daze, so maybe it won't matter. Oh, she's just broke it. Okay, her mood should be increasing. She's got catharsis. She's got the psychic soothe. Okay, way to go, Minyaka. Hopefully, we can get you back. Medical treatment needed, Tronka. So that means Tronka probably still has muscle parasites, huh? 235% out of 300%. But good news, Minyaka finally doesn't have gut worms. I must have missed that in the last episode. We're happy about that. So I actually just, it just occurred to me that maybe I should be checking the temperature in, uh, in the bedrooms here. It is kind of warm. So we could build, um, we have passive coolers, not, we, we don't need to build passive coolers. We could stock them up with wood to keep the bedrooms a little bit uh, cooler. And I think we will. We have like 1,321 wood, so much wood. We might as well, what's the, what's the harm in it? Um, we could also build a passive cooler uh, in this bedroom over here. And I think a good place for that um, is probably just like uh, right here in the corner, out of the way. So one thing I'd actually like to do is I'd actually like to build a classroom and, and uh, kind of research center, uh, a place of learning uh, for our colony. And I'm considering either putting it like right behind here or right next to here. I think we also want to build a temple in our colony, and that's going to go in one of these two places. Um, I think probably a nice place for it's going to be kind of right here on the uh, on the wing of our kind of multi-purpose room right now. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, I say we plan it out with with this tool before we actually get to building it. And I say we do something, I say we do something like this. So apparently we have some people coming to trade. All right, Minyaka, are you ready? Also, Minyaka, can you counsel Tronka again? Nope. Apparently Minyaka can counsel Jay though. I don't think Jay or Olga really need to be counseled. We'll go ahead and uh, wait for these people to get a little closer, but I think Jay is our best social person. Yeah, Jay has social level eight. And look at this, Jay's getting some research done. I'm so proud of him. All right, let's go ahead and trade with Donkey. All right, Donkey, what's going on? What do you guys have for sale? As usual, nothing that we're very interested in. Go buy some medicine. They've got goats, if we want to buy some goats. I don't think we're really that interested in goats. Um, they've got 
Yeah, not much. Okay. Well, oh well. But look at Olga going. We're actually increasing uh, this number pretty quickly with research level 8. So my thought with this building design is we can fit the research lab in here. And then we can put like a desk in here and have some whiteboards along the wall. Yeah, I think that'll be nice. Um, I'm almost tempted though to... Um, no, let's leave it as it is. I think this is gonna be a good design. Um, I'm trying not to make things look too boxy, which is why I wanted to bring the wall out one here. I think a little irregularity can look good. Um, if done in a tasteful way, I don't want this colony to look super haphazard. Like, I still want there to be clear, like, roadways. For example, like, this is going to be, like, a main roadway. We can actually fill in some of this space and expand out our, um, pantry later on. Um, but I want to keep this as a roadway. Um, I want to keep this as a major roadway. Maybe kind of more like a plaza area. We can put some, like, tables and stuff out here. Um, yeah, some tables and sculptures out here to just kind of like nice enough this like little courtyard area. We can fence off the farm. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get this going. Um, in fact, uh, we might want to end up moving either our farm or our ranch somewhere else. Because I kind of want those to be together and out of the way. Like, I think a nice place for the ranch might honestly be down here if we build a barn right next to Olga's house and then just have the ranch here down by the water. And then we can have just like our farming and ranching business down here. And then we can have all our civilization like up in this kind of area. The more I'm talking about this, the more I like that plan. We're going to need to build a door into this room. And I'm still not sold on a perfectly square throne room. That's what this is eventually going to be. Right now it's a multi-purpose room, dining room kind of deal. Um, but it doesn't need to be square. I'm almost wondering if it would be cool to do something like... Um, to do something like this. kind of like taper it off we'll try it we'll try it and we can go ahead and we can reinstall this right here where we want it to go you'll probably build a more comfortable thing than a wooden stool like a nice um, armchair or something yeah like a nice dining chair I think would be appropriate we'll build it out of wood course there we go and we're gonna want to reinstall our desk um, I think we'll go ahead and if this is going to be our learning area we will go ahead and keep the desk like right here I think that that's a sensible place for the desk and then we need to reinstall our whiteboards um, I always get turning it wrong I want to make sure it's facing the right way so I think Q is the one we want. B, reinstall. And um, I think we'll be able to fit the three whiteboards pretty nice and snug in here. Um, oh, that's going to bother me endlessly. It, it won't fit perfectly. <laughs> um, I know we technically only need three. But I'm going to build a fourth here in the corner just to kind of like round out the room. And let's go ahead and let's go to structure. We can complete our plans like this. Like that. I think that'll, that'll be a nicely shaped research room. Um, eventually we want to get some, uh, we want to get some books bookshelves in there too. Um, these are actually good dining chairs so we'll go ahead and just reinstall them here um, like that and like that. 
Looks like we missed a couple places of floor. So we'll go ahead and patch those in right there. And already we have a more interesting looking building. Um, if we're going to do this on this side, I think we need to make the throne room a little more symmetrical. Um, and so we should taper it off on this side too. And we can build a nice kind of like dining setup here. I think that'll be, I think that'll be good. So we will have to do a little bit of reconfiguring. So I'm going to reinstall all of our kind of art, like these vases here. Um, and... I don't think we can reinstall the passive cooler, but we'll, we'll, we'll make it work anyways. Um, so we want to come down here. We want, um, let's see. This needs to come in one and then go like that. I think that's about right. And so we can go ahead. We need to add a new door. I think we'll add the door like right here in the middle. We can build these wooden walls. And we actually have a bunch of steel walls here, which might be a little bit better at insulating. I, um, I don't know if walls have different insulation abilities. Flammability, cover effectiveness, hit points. Ah, uh, that doesn't say anything about insulation, so it might not matter. I was gonna say maybe we want our pantry to be built entirely out of steel or stone or something that's better insulated than wood. But I, I, I think if that was a thing, the game would, um, the game would have a little part in there, a description. Um. Because of this, we can go ahead and deconstruct, 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 deconstruct. And once we get these walls built, we can also deconstruct these walls as well. Nope, I don't think we want to deconstruct this one. Um, which brings us to an interesting prospect of how do we want to kind of make the pantry fit in well. Um, I think we could probably, we could probably bring the pantry out here. But um, I, th hmm. Okay, and I think we'll expand the pantry to be a little more funny shaped. Um, it's gonna come out, it's gonna come out like this, um, to kind of mirror this other funny room on the on the side. Um, this is gonna give us just some more space. We could actually honestly make this into the kitchen. I'm liking this idea the more and more as I say it. Um, having the kitchen right here, the pantry right here, Okay, I'm really liking this idea. Now, because we don't want people walking through the kitchen, um, we need to have the entrance to the kitchen only exist in the pantry itself. That way people don't walk through the kitchen and get it dirty. The only reason the kitchen is getting dirty is because it absolutely needs to, only when the chef actually goes in there to cook a meal. Look at Tronka, getting some research done. Finally, we're gonna have warm clothes this winter, we are. I just know it. And so, if that's the kitchen, we could probably think about building a prison somewhere. We're gonna wanna reinstall this stove somewhere sensible. Um, I think here's a nice place for the stove. Now I think to make this um, just a little bit more symmetrical, we're gonna go ahead and bring the kitchen out to here. Um, and I think we can probably bring the pantry out a little bit. 
pantry is already pretty big though. Do we need that big of a pantry? We, we might as well keep it like this until we need it bigger for the future, you know? We don't need to future-proof it so much right now. Um, Minyaka's pregnant. That's great news. A caravan from the Treaty in Guabroa is approaching. I think we already did that caravan. And there's a quest active. A group of poor travelers, including a child, are approaching looking for help. Um, they want 13 herbal medicine to attempt a life-saving operation for a fellow traveler who was attacked by mechanoids. You can give the tra travelers items to the travelers by selecting colonists and right-clicking on zombie. Alright, we'll be happy to help. We're like charity central here. I know it might not seem like it all the time, but we really are well-intentioned people. We really are well-intentioned. This colony is finally coming together. It's starting to get a little more character. Alright. We're going to need to deconstruct this wall. There we go. We're going to want to build some uh, wood floors as well. That's under the floors tab. I always think the floors should be in the structure tab. That's the natural place for it. Um, and I think we're going to want to build a wood door right here. Uh, I think we're also going to want to build some shelves. If not for practical use, just the aesthetics of having shelves, you know? And until we build a better prison, I think we're just gonna have, um... I think we're just gonna have this kind of expanded prison area of where the kitchen used to be. We'll eventually build a separate building for the prison, um, no doubt about it. But for the time being, we can just have an expanded prison with three, um, capacity capacity. We're going to build them an actual bed to sleep on. Um, we can put this table in like a more central location and um, have seating on either side of it so people can actually like have a uh, have a conversation. Yeah, I think this will be nice. So we want to reinstall this. I think we're going to want to get rid of that. We're going to want to reinstall this here so that we can move the table down one and we can have seating on the other side as well quest available hosting an ally Buenio antelope christ chief of treaty of guaboa is requesting a favor her friend abrua ape is interested in learning about other cultures and she wants you to host them at aswar for 30 days i don't think we can feed somebody for 30 days who's not going to do any work sorry about that i'm liking this already so we just blew through all of our wood stockpiles. So we're gonna have to go into orders, chop wood, and we're gonna have to get a whole bunch more. All right, this will keep them. This will keep our colonists real busy. Minyak is gonna get stuck in here. She just lost her only way out. Okay, we're gonna set these to be four prisoners. Minyaka, I need you to deconstruct this wall so you don't have to sleep on the floor in here. There you go. All right. I think uh, our base is starting to come together. Next step is going to be making a nice grand dining area in here. Complete with all the all the fine fine decorations. Once we get some sculptures, we'll part, start really decorating this room with sculptures, make it look real nice. Of course, we need to be careful with that cuz sculptures tend to increase the like total value of your base by a lot. Um, and that's opening us up to Harder rates, pretty much. Um, we should probably include a side entrance to the classroom. Um, I think 
that would make sense for easier access. So we're gonna go ahead and include a door right here so people don't have to go in through this way. They can also go up and around this way. And I'm almost considering actually nixing the idea of having this here and we could just have this be like a kind of like side entrance into the classroom. I think mobility is, is the name of the game, right? We want people to be able to easily access the classroom so that it takes less time walking through and all the way around everything. We want them to be able to get in and out of the classroom real quickly. Um, these people are still here. I forgot to give them their herbal medicine, so I'm sending Jay on it. Jay, go ahead and get the herbal medicine. I think this is a good stopping point for the episode. We've actually gotten a lot done. A lot of redecorating here. We have a brand new kitchen. We have an expanded prison. We have a kind of new dining area that we need to spruce up in the next episode. Um, Minyak is pregnant again. Okay, we're really excited for her. And um, I think that that's just about it. That's just about everything we've gotten done. We have a brand new classroom as well. That's what I was forgetting. Yeah, this classroom looks great. Um, we're going to have like a temple back here or something, like a religious worship space, or maybe we'll have it off to the side here. Haven't decided yet. Um, but this is looking really great. Our base is really coming together. And the next we need to start doing is creating some like production areas around here. We'll have this be like our production complex with like a central storage room in the middle. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. I'll see you then. Bye.